the Asbury Revival. Possibly the greatest and most remarkable move of God I've witnessed in my lifetime. Capturing national attention from CNN, ABC, and being covered by people like Ben Shapiro himself. And it's drawn tens of thousands of people, like 50,000 people, to this tiny Kentucky town over the course of 13 days just to pray. But was it legit? Was it a true move of God's spirit? And if so, what can we take away from it to apply in our own cities and towns to see the type of revival that happened at Asbury? Let's talk about it right now. Everybody, welcome to Chosen generation welcome 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 if it's your first time here welcome yeah i'm going to share with you my thoughts on the asbury revival in a moment but first if you haven't heard about it or you don't really know much about it i'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what this asbury revival exactly is so a few weeks ago from when i was recording this um in february of 2023 there was a prayer service at a small christian college in kentucky called Asbury University. And this prayer service, this chapel service, never ended. It never ended. It just kept on going and going and going. And so at first, it was just students coming in, seeing what was going on, praying there, worshiping, whatever. As it kept on going, at first it was covered by local news outlets, then state news outlets. Then it spread onto TikTok. And that's when it just, I mean, it exploded People began to come from all over the country, all over the state, all over the world to experience what was happening at this never ending prayer survey. And people who go there would say, yes, this power, this presence of God, I would feel it and I would experience it. And I would just feel this drawing. Watch. So we after dinner, nine o'clock last night, we drove over here. We got here at two thirty and waited in line. And let me tell you, the presence is just amazing. Just to see all this this young generation hunger for God. And I've been very blessed, a, a very filled, and, and I, I just want to cry just thinking about it. Yeah, people were healed. Many people said that they experienced deliverance. Many people said they experienced um, a sense of peace and joy like never before. Many people even gave their lives to Christ in this Asbury Revival, and I do revival in quotes because not everyone agrees that this is a revival. We'll talk about that in a second. But what I'm saying is this was a truly remarkable remarkable event. You have to have some skepticism when you approach these things. I understand that. But for me, I would 100% say that God is moving in it. No doubt about it. Could there have been some social media fied moments? Potentially. But overall, when you see college students high school students willingly skipping class, skipping, hanging out with their friends. I mean, they're staying in the night. I mean, they're skipping not just homework in school, which I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> okay, let's be honest. If there's a travel service going on, I'm, I'm not going to do homework. Okay. But they're skipping that to, and not just skipping that, they're also skipping hangout time, free time where they could be playing video games or watching movies or TV. They're skipping that to go worship and experience God at this um, outpouring. And so for me, that's a huge sign that something is happening of an of a spiritual proportion. And it's and, and there was no fancy preachers there, you know, no Joel scenes, no um T D Jakes, no one there who was famous in the Christian world who you could say, Oh, they're coming to, to see him, to hear him preach. There's no there's little no little to no preaching at all in this move of God. So I would say it is legit for sure. Now, as to whether it's a revival or not, technically, I don't know if the word revival is necessarily the best because personally, when I think of revival, I think of non-believers, like thousands of non-believers, like hundreds, hundreds of them coming to God, repenting of their sins, being baptized in Jesus' name, pulled with God's spirit as evidenced by speaking in tongues, the church growing at a rapid rate. That's revival. This Asbury outpouring, I think, was more of an awakening and more of an outpouring. Uh, it was more of a, it was, it was almost like God is letting America know and letting our generation know that he is still working. It's almost like God was sending a message to me and you as young Christians and to you maybe watching this who's not a young Christian, who's just young, about my age, 15, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
However, he was sending a message to us and saying that I am real. If you want to seek me with your heart, I will be found by you. And that was, for me, the powerful thing that I took away from this is that God is letting our generation know that he is real and that he is moving in these days. Our generation is the least religious generation of all time. That's not debated by anyone. That's a fact. We need this, okay? We need this to happen. I don't really care where it happens. I don't really care who God uses to make it happen. I've heard people say the doctrine of the church is wrong, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. It probably isn't exactly right. But God can use them if he wants to, because at the end of the day, God wants to save souls. He wants to reach people. And he wants to use people. And so whoever, wherever he can, he can find hungry people that are genuinely seeking him, he's going to move. And that's one of the first things I learned from this as I follow the story, I track the story, is that God can use whoever he wants to use. He can move however he wants to move. And we cannot limit him based on our own presuppositions, our own assumptions of what God can and cannot do. If he wants to move into Kentucky and Asbury in a small little college that nobody even knows about, he can absolutely do that. And so another thing I learned from that is also that I can, he can move in my town, my city, you know, yours as well. You, you may not live in a big town with famous preachers, with famous evangelists. It doesn't matter. God can move in your city, your school, your college, wherever, as long as you are willing to seek him with your heart. Your heart. And that's what this showed me. It's that God is willing to move and he is already moving. And as long as we are hungry for him, we will see him show up in a mighty and powerful way. The Asbury Bible was incredible. No doubt about it. It was incredible. People were touched. I mean, take a listen to this clip of someone testifying at the Asbury Bible. Revival's real. It isn't just a story we've heard about. It's come. And it's not just come here today, but it's about to spread out to the nation. It's about to spread out to the United States. And I'm here to talk to every young person in this room. I just gave my life a year and a half ago to Christ, and it has been the greatest thing I have ever done. I left everything, and I'm here to talk to every young person in this room. Forget the job, forget the girl, forget the guy, forget everything. He's worthy, he's worthy, and I'm here. And I'm just saying, oh, it's such an honor. If you don't feel that joy inside of you, I don't know what's going on. It's real. Amen. I love you guys. <laughs> Incredible, incredible. And so that's why I'm saying our generation was being touched. This revival, this move of God, this outpouring, this awakening was, I think, intended for me and you as young Christians. We needed this more than ever because, like I said, we have the depression and social media anxiety and all these different things that are plaguing us, the darkness of the world, the lies that are being propagated through the music industry and through, you know, all these different avenues through influencers and all this stuff. We need this type of thing to be happening on a consistent basis. So when I see people complaining about this and, and, and saying all these things and all, oh, it's not real. It's, it's trying to downplay it. I almost wonder whether or not they actually want to see God move because I always lean to the side of it's real. I'll lean to the side of it. It is legit because I want to see God move. And it's prophesied in the scripture that in the last days I'll pour my spirit. Okay. And so God is moving. It's a powerful, powerful thing. I'm telling you, I mean, there's so many testimonies and clips and, and things that you can see online of people that have been genuinely touched and affected by this outpouring of God's spirit at Asbury. And so I'll leave you with this, all right? I'll leave you with this, Children's Generation Nation, whoever you are watching this right now, I'll leave you with this. We'll take it for what it's worth. I'm a Christian teenager. I'm not a pastor. I'm not, you know, a theologian from... Bible seminary of Mississippi Synod. I don't, I don't know. Okay. But I'm, a, I have, a, I have, you know, I have a little message for you, whoever you are to leave you with before I wrap up this video. Okay. Don't let this Asbury revival just be a memory. Don't let it be something that just say, okay, that's nice. God moved in Asbury. He moved in Kentucky, Wilma, Kentucky. Cool. Let this be a challenge. I'm talking to myself here too. Let this be a challenge for all of us, wherever we may be, to, to seek this. To seek out God in a new way 
and to be ready to see him move in our lives and to be hungry to see him move in our cities. Because if he did it in Kentucky and he's, he's still doing it, he's still moving all across this world and all across this nation, he can move in your city too. He can move in your sphere of influence. He can move in your town. If you seek him, you can be the leader, you can be the difference. And you and your youth group, you and your friends, you and your church, you and your Christian school, you can be set the precedent for your area and see God move in a powerful way. Because he's moving. He's coming back soon. He's doing great things. And he is going to save his soul. He's going to save souls. He's going to pour his spirit no matter what. The question is, are we going to be part of it or not? Simple as that. So, guys, I'll see you very soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember that you are a chosen generation. <laughs>